bumblebees. He's happy Thursday. It is no longer morning. It is actually 12.10. And I just picked up the kids lunch from school. Lunch today they actually have fried chicken, you guys. Like they have a whole like chicken leg. So I'm gonna warm that up. And they have chocolate milk, um, whole grain wheat crackers, um, some jicama, tahin, then there's salad and an orange, and then uh, for breakfast, tomorrow is Eggo mini pancakes, juice, applesauce, and milk. So like, here's the slices. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. There's like slices of jicama. Um, the kids don't eat jicama, so I'll probably eat it. So yeah, I'm gonna warm up their chicken. And then I'm gonna make my lunch, well, technically my breakfast, well, lunch. And I am really craving French toast. So I'm gonna make French toast with my keto bread and then I'm gonna have that with scrambled eggs and bacon and it's gonna be so yummy. For my French toast, I have one egg in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. You can also use creamer. I've seen people do that before, um, but I'm gonna use heavy whipping cream let's see i put two tablespoons hopefully that's enough i guess i should have scrambled my egg before i put the milk or the creamer or the oh my god <laughs> heavy cream okay, i might need a little bit more a little bit more cream Let's put a third, put three, that should be good. And then I'm gonna add some cinnamon. You can also add vanilla extract. I normally add vanilla, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it today. So that's what it looks like. I have my pan here heating up. I just sprayed with a little bit of um, cooking spray. You can use butter or oil or whatever you want to use. I normally use butter actually, but I'm, I'm going to skip the butter today. Last time when I made, or the first time when I made the French toast with this keto bread, I noticed that it was a bit dry. It didn't really soak up a lot of the custard mixture. So I'm letting it soak longer this time because normally I don't even let it soak for that long. And I'm gonna do three slices. Oh, I think the amount that I made is perfect. It's soaking up like everything. Perfect. So here is my lunch. I have three pieces of French toast or three slices of French toast. Two scrambled eggs. I decided to skip the bacon today because I did end up adding more whipping cream, heavy whipping cream than I had planned. So that's more calories, you guys. So I decided to skip the bacon today. And then I have sugar-free syrup and I put that all over my French toast. And then I have sugar-free ketchup for my eggs. Okay, we're gonna play a little horseshoe. Game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was all right. Okay, okay. try me now. Okay. <laughs> Can you get mine too? Okay, go again. Oh my gosh. That one was really bad. Okay, let's try it. You're me. really mean. Try it like this, maybe. Try. <laughs> I just got off of work. I'm so tired. It was so busy today. Oh, okay. Oh wow. And now I'm just sitting on the grass. It's nice and warm. It feels so good. What is it, like 84 degrees you think? 85, something like that? And I'm here with Vanessa. Hi. 
Well, AJ's here too, but he's sitting in the chair. So it's 5.20 right now. I'm working on dinner. For dinner tonight, we're having wings, even though it's not wing Wednesday anymore. It's wing Thursday. <laughs> um, I don't know, you guys. I just, I really wanted wings, but since I had wings like the other day, I decided to save wings for today instead of yesterday. Anyways, um, I'm going to be making some salt and pepper wings, but I'm doing it keto style so I'm not like coating the chicken with flour or anything like that. Um, I'm cooking it the exact same way. I just seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper. I have it cooking in the air fryer. We have whole wings in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry the garlic. I have garlic here. We're gonna fry some garlic, onion, and jalapeno. Um, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and then toss the chicken in this mixture. And hopefully it comes out good. I normally make the salt and pepper wings like a different way, but I'm thinking like this will still work. I think it'll still be fine. I think it'll be good. So in here I have some oil and I'm just sauteing the onions and the garlic and then I'm gonna add in the jalapeno and then I will add the chicken and then we'll toss that around. Oh, and salt and pepper. I just added in the jalapenos and then I added some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna saute this for a few more minutes until the um, jalapenos are soft so now I just added the chicken in and we're just gonna give that a good toss and that's pretty much it salt and pepper wings so how do you guys like the chicken it's good yeah. not too spicy right mm -hmm. yeah do not resist it is useless to resist like Obi-Wan did ah! <laughs> time again. No. You guessed it. It is time to go to sleep. No, it got me. No. No. <laughs> That's, imp <laughs> That's impossible. You guessed it well. Huh? All right, everyone. Oh, wait. I already said like yeah, most of it. Yeah, time to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Double whammy! Ow. With your one hand. <laughs>